Hey guys, uh, how are you? What we're uh, what I want to do in this little video is just show you a few of the little tricks to uh, be able to work with uh, your PHP uh, setup that uh, I suggest that you use for the course, as well as running uh, IIS at the time. So I know you have IIS on your system from uh, some of the uh, the ASP.NET stuff that you're doing. So. Uh, First thing you need to be able to do is determine what our, uh, what server is currently running on your system. Uh, one of the quick ways to do that is just start up a browser, just type in localhost, and if it says IIS is running, then guess what? You have the, the Microsoft version of this stuff running and the IIS server, and not the Apache server. So what you have to do if you want Apache to start up so if I go to start up the uh, the WAMP server here, what you'll find happens is the uh, the server will go so far, it'll go to a yellowy state, and then it'll stop. It won't go any further than that because the um, the web port port 80 uh, in your network is actually being used by the other uh, other service. So what you need to be able to do is you need to be able to turn that off. So to turn that off, it's actually really quite straightforward. You go to your control panel, you go to your systems and security settings, go right down to administrative tools, and you'll see that there's an Internet Information Services Manager, the IIS Manager. Just double click on that. That'll bring up the, uh, the IIS server itself, server manager I should say. All right, and this is it. Just make sure it's picked here. All you have to do is click on stop. Wait until you see the start button there. At this point, if you come over to your WAMP server, now it's the only part of the WAMP thing that's not running right now is your uh, Apache. So now you can go and you can start your Apache up. And now you can see that Apache is running. And if I refresh my web page that had going you'll see that now it's the um, it's the WAMP server one if I need to switch back to do some ASP stuff because my WAMP server is not going to do the ASP stuff what I need to do is I come to here and I can either stop all my services or I can come up and just stop the Apache service either one will work fine so I'm going to stop them all and my WAMP server icon will turn red. Um, I come back over to my control panel, down to my administrative tools. For my administrative tools, I'll pick my Internet Information Manager, and it'll come up. It'll be stopped. I'll click on Start. I'll give it a couple of seconds. Wait till the Stop button kind of comes back again. Now, when I refresh, I'll be back to IIS. So. That's all it really takes to jump between your IIS server and your uh, your uh, Apache version of your uh, web server. So for your PHP stuff that you're doing, uh, I generally find it's easier to use the Apache uh, setup. So that's what I normally would advise you use for uh, for your .NET stuff. Uh, while you can technically get it to work on the Apache setup, it doesn't really work well there. So I'd advise you do use the, the IIS uh, setup this way. So again, that's all you have to do uh, to start up the uh, or to stop IIS. It's just a matter of getting to your int Internet Information Services Manager. Highlight the server on the connection side. Click Stop and to turn on the uh, the WAMP server it's just a matter of saying either start all my services or come over and you can start them one at a time that way either way will do the trick for you uh, make sure whatever you do you just give it a couple of seconds to, uh, to process so I'll just stop this one one last time you see it takes a couple of seconds for it to stop and now I can start it again because the green dot comes back when I go to start I can't do anything until the, the 
to stop and to restart highlight. Same thing works for I or for the WAMP server as I stopped that. Um, if I go and I say start all my services, you'll see it'll go through yellow to green. And if I go to stop all my services, it may, usually shuts down a little bit quicker. All right, uh, I think that should get you guys over any real trouble. So you'll get used to this as you move along. So if you're doing IIS stuff or uh, ASP stuff, I should say, uh, you want to be using IIS. Uh, for right now, for the PHP, I'd highly suggest that you still use the WAMP server. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.